All right, so today's topic, you know, something I've been wanting to speak on is old versus the new. Basically, you know, me being a vlogger, blogger, all that good stuff. I do vlogs, I, I do editorials, I write it, I, I follow music, I follow entertainment. You know, to put it out there, I'm 31 years old. So I ain't too old, I ain't too young. But what's been happening lately that I'm not digging, like when I'm watching the different blogs and everything going on, or the interviews like everybody else, because even though I'm a YouTuber, I'm on YouTube heavy, I'm watching stuff. You know, the most recent thing that made me go ahead and want to talk about this was what happened with Ebro. Ebro had, um, bringing up the, the phony shit about the case that, of course, Kodak can't speak on. Kodak getting upset and walking out. Um, some people were like, yo, you know, Ebro was right to ask whatever he wanted his show. Then some people were like, yo, you know, that's funny to be asking this man about legal issues that he can't speak on. At the end of the day, I felt like Ebro from the jump, which is, I was a fan of his for a long time. And I'm still not saying I'm not a fan, but I, I don't have to like everything you do. I don't like how Ebro, uh, sometimes Charlemagne, um, uh, what's this nigga name? Joe Button, especially Joe Button. Um, I don't like how they come at the younger generation of artists, entertainers, all that type of stuff. Like, at the end of the day, Things are always gonna change at some point. It's not, nothing's gonna stay the same. Nothing's gonna be exactly how you had it or how you like it. You know what I'm saying? Like they had a lyric, I gotta look up the song. I'm gonna look it up when I write this up. I saw when Drake said, yo, your niggas was 20s in the, was 20, it was in your 20s in the 90s. Ain't nothing wrong with being an older cat. I mean, look how a nigga like Jay Nas and them move. They still here in the game. They still understand that they got younger cats coming up underneath them. But they doing them. They playing their part. They playing it smooth like an OG. Look a, a Fab, the young OG. That Fab about to be 40 years old soon. But you don't, you don't see him like not embracing the younger kids. Even like somebody like a Meek my age, 31. Fab was embracing Meek from the jump. When, when Meek first came out at 24, 25, he embraced it. So what I'm saying is, no, not everything you do or dislike or whatever, I'm not going to call it hating, but it's the way you choose to, to, to speak on it. Like, basically, a lot of these older cats, they get bitter and they be on some, yo, if it ain't like how I like it or how we used to do it, that shit whack. That shit ain't it. That shit, you know, it's not official. Oh, how could I forget Funk Flex? How much Funk Flex hate on, on on certain people. You know what I'm saying? But he'll bring them on his show. That's another thing I don't like. Why you bring stuff on your show that you really don't rock with? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my channel. I got a platform that I rock with. Right? I'm not going to bring nothing or nobody on this show or do anything with anybody that I really don't rock with. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's different if it's another platform that somebody else set up or whatever. Somebody else set up the platform and, you know, we go with the move that way. And I'm talking on their show. You know what I'm saying? That's totally different. But if it's my show, if it's my choice or who going to guess or who going to come around or who doing whatever, I'm not going to bring nothing on my show that I really don't like or don't care for. I'm not going to do anything that's under my control that I don't care for. So that's why I feel like these niggas going out their way to hate. You bringing shit on your show that you don't like so that you can get the person in front of you so that you can be a troll, an old school troll, and hate. You know, like, you know, my regular conversations with people, you know, some of my pods are older than me, and some of the music that I might listen to, they'll be like, dog, I can't get with that. For example, like Blueface. A lot of niggas that's over 35 not gonna rock with Blueface. You know, I rock with Blueface because, you know, I like ignorant shit from time to time. But my whole point is, you ain't got to go out your way to show your dislike for something. If you don't like it, you just don't like it. That's cool. I just don't understand why this older generation, this particular older generation, is so bitter with shit. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. When they shit was popping, whatever they had going, the generation before them probably looked back and said, I don't like that shit. Oh, that shit different. 
cool people my people don't like what's different at the same time i don't feel like people went that hard to hate on it or to go out their way to show they dislike like this particular older generation doing these cats that's in their 40s right now i don't understand what they so bitter over like just relax just keep living life and do you man if you want to if you want to rock your um your matching adidas suits you know if you want to wear, wear your big big fitted that cover your ear do you but we ain't knocking you for that man do your thing dog you just ain't gotta always hate on the on the youngest on, on the little babies the gunners the six nine you ain't gotta hate on them, you know what i'm saying and that go to the movie world too you know what i'm saying all these older actors ain't gotta hate on the youngsters let michael b jordan and matt wiles and all them get their shine the lupitas and all that let the young ones come up ain't nothing wrong with letting the young come up you know what i'm saying but anyway my Have Life TV, if you agree with me, dis disagree with me, leave some comments, like, subscribe, hit that, that bell and, and, and get the notifications. Like I say, My Have Life TV, this is Joey Yoke. Uh.